This project will present a series of activities that will strengthen and empower CBRN emergency medical preparedness and response in Southeast and Eastern Europe. It's funded by the European Union's Chemical, Biological, Radiological and Nuclear Risk Mitigation Centres of Excellence initiative and is implemented by the Science and Technology Centre in Kiev, Ukraine. We are today hosting the, one of the big um, activities and first activities of the project, the regional training uh, for our experts from 10 countries. And this next two weeks we're here in Tbilisi to deliver specific training to master trainers from each of the 10 countries across Eastern and Southeastern Europe. It's an exciting opportunity to bring skilled doctors, paramedics and nurses from these countries to make them the master trainers so they can go back to each of their respective countries and roll out that training so we have a long-term sustainable capacity in each of these countries. In the majority of the countries in this region, otherwise well-trained medical and paramedical responders and hospital staff may not have the skills and knowledge to respond to a CBRN event. We could enhance the capacity of selected emergency medical training centres through providing them with CBRN training equipment, specialist equipment. We could train trainers throughout the region in CBRN emergency medicine preparedness and response. We could standardise procedures across the region for dealing with CBRN emergency medical situations by running workshops seminars and exercises to train and test capabilities. And remember, not all incidents are conflict or terrorism related. Many of the problems that are caused by CBRN are accidental or industrial and we need to be prepared so that we can respond in a timely manner to mitigate against the risks of population being affected and more importantly and primarily the medics, the paramedics and the nurses who look after us all when we need them. The project has a budget of about five and a half million euros and will run for four years. <laughs> 